Oh, is that? There we go. Hi, good morning. I'm Rabbi Brian. This is the Saturday service. Oh my goodness, it's not quite yet 8 o'clock where I am. It will be in a moment, and we will start the service officially then. Rabbi Brian! I, I know, I, I've put in a little theme music. Good morning, I'm glad that you're here. Um, if you are watching from afar, I am joined in the Zoom room by a bunch of my friends. And if, if you get migraines or have, like, I, I feel like I need to have one of those, there, there's uh, flashing strobe lights. I'm going to switch to this screen where you can see everybody there. There's everybody. Everyone give a little wave so everyone can see that you're there. If you'd like to join, if you would like to join, by Facebook, please make sure you're at this room. You're at facebook.com groups for religion outside the box. That's the best way to get there. And Joe, thank you for hosting the the um, Facebook group there. I do want to say, um, hey. I'm Brian, you're re broadcasting the wrong screen. The wrong camera. Oh, look at that. This is, this is interesting because what you're streaming on Facebook is different than what your Zoom people are seeing. I know. <laughs> it is interesting. I know. Good pick up there, Alex. That's this camera. Right. Yeah. Wow. That's, but I see, the, I see the usual one on Facebook. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Schrodinger's broadcast. Okay, there we are. Okay, here we are. That was good. <sighs> you did that that was fancy very fancy okay so um if hey guys here's the deal if there are enough technical screw-ups i think the the official rule is if there are three technical mess-ups in the service i will refund your entrance fee <laughs> um that that being said uh joe is a volunteer helping out with the facebook room uh please remember that joe is volunteering for that matter i'm volunteering too um but uh, i'm in charge so please bring it to me but if you have a problem in the facebook room please don't take it out on joe she's doing the best she can um thank you joe uh also if there's a thing that goes wrong with this service and there's some part of it you don't really like Instead of complaining to one of the moderators in the small rooms afterwards, uh, bring it right to me. And I've instructed, and sometimes you'll say something, and one of the people in the room afterwards say, well, why aren't you bringing this directly to Rabbi Brian? Please bring it directly to Rabbi Brian. Rabbi Brian, me, I would love to hear whatever it is that you have. Uh, if you want to check it out with other people, say, hey, is this also annoying to you? Uh, please do. But the best way to affect change is to let me know there was something that you didn't necessarily like. So um, thank you for doing that. Um, okay, let's pick up from where we were last week, shall we? First, how are you? Good. Very good. It's not so easy for 40 people to all answer at the same time. Glad, glad that you're here. Last week we had, I want to start with a quick review of something we did last week. Last week we thought about if we could send a message back in time to ourselves and only in Morse code and only allowed to send one word back in time, one bit of uh, what that word would be. And I'd love to get a listing of those words um, do you remember what word? It could either be the one that you had or a different one. I remember the one that I I was enamored with was if I could just get one word, I would take the word courage. What were some of the other words that you had? Peace. Peace. Remember. Yay. <laughs> I think it was yay me. Yay means, what do I do? You're, means you're on the right track. Resilience. Resilience. Okay. 
Persist. Persist. Mm -hmm. Grateful. Purpose. Faith. Faith. I think it was did it, dot dash, did it, did it. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Any others? One word. Listen, I only heard accept. I apologize to the other ones. What were the other ones? Say it again, Azera. Faith. 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 Listen. Speak. How about trust? Oh, I like that one. I have I have a quote at the ready for uh, for trust and some others. Hold on to your seats, folks. Here's a beautiful quote from uh, Chung. I, I, I didn't practice saying his name. That's bad on me. Chung Yang Trung, Trung Pa. But the quote is this. The bad news is you're falling through the air. Nothing to hold, hang on to. No parachute. The bad news is you're falling through the air. Nothing to hang on to. No parachute. The good news is there's no ground. Ooh, okay. Keep flying. Isn't that what life kind of feels like a bit? And uh, Joe is a volunteer. Uh oh. We got a little bit of an echo there. No worries. No worries. Bad news is you're falling through the air. Nothing to hang on to. No parachute. Who's who in the last week has had a moment of feeling that? <laughs> Most of us have had at least a moment of feeling like we're falling through the air. What is this punchline, the good news? The good news is there is no ground. That's such a clever thing. What is that saying? Fly to your destiny. I only heard the destiny part, Jack. Fly to your destiny. Fly to your destiny. There's no crash. It feels terrifying. This is what it means to me is it feels terrifying. But there's no there's no crash that's going to happen. It means I don't need to be afraid. It means I don't need to be afraid. On the other hand, does it also mean that I'll be following forever and there's <laughs> never an end to this pain and suffering? <laughs> We got that right. Yes. <laughs> I think that's exactly it. That this feeling of pain and suffering and fear is always going to be with us. It's Remember back a long time ago, we talked about the birds of worry and fear always encircle your head. Over this, you have no control. But whether they make a nest in your hair, over this, you have control. We're always... Hey, folks, I'm going to do like a zoom in on my face. Bad news. We're always going to be afraid. There's a beautiful uh, quote. It's Nachman of... <laughs> Missy, bonus points to you. Bonus points to you for that. I'll get to that in a second. There's a great... Uh, there's a great quote from Baal Shem Tov, who's one of the Jewish mystics... Um, few centuries ago and Baal Shem Tov said this let put your good listening ears on for this one let me fall if I must I have no fear for the one I am becoming will catch me Ooh, I like that. Mm. let me fall if I must I have Ooh. no fear for the one I am becoming will catch me. That fits in exactly with where we just were. The bad news is you're falling through the air. Nothing to hang on to. No parachute. The good news is there's no ground. The one, the one within is who you are becoming. Yes. 
the one within us will help we will be okay we're not going to crash but couldn't you go ahead i'm sorry do it couldn't you look at your quote and say since there is no ground why not enjoy the fall i mean that's what you're worried about that's exa I mean, exactly it patricia exactly Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story that I told to my buddy Eric, and he's still married. Um, <laughs> so Eric was living with Pam, and they were not yet engaged. And this is the late 90s, and that was, that was just what you did, was you moved in together, and then the next thing you did was you got engaged, and then you get married, and that was just the track. And as soon as you moved in with someone, it was a... Like, I know where this train's going to go. And I said to Eric, who was terrified, I said, Eric, it's like this. You're driving your car. You, you're going down a hill. You tap on the brake to slow down, and it doesn't, doesn't respond. So you push on the brake harder, and it doesn't respond. And you're gaining some speed as you're going down the hill, and you're trying to steer. And you push your foot all the way on the brake, and it doesn't do anything. And you're going a little bit faster, and you're holding on to the steering wheel, and you pull the emergency brake up with your hand, and the emergency brake comes off in your hand. I said, the thing you do then is you enjoy the ride. While it lives. <laughs> <laughs> there is another part to that also. <laughs> enjoy the ride while it lasts. I think that's the moral of our story today. Bad news is you're falling through the air, nothing to hang on to, no parachute. The good news is there's no ground. You taste the strawberry. Yes, you take. There's a beautiful. Do you do you want to tell that story? Do you have that at, at hand to to tell, oh, Betsy? Up the, uh, the, the Buddhist monk or, or the, the Buddhist story about the man who uh, you know, falls over a cliff and manages to grasp onto this. Uh, uh, this uh, I think it's a a, a rope there, and. There's a tiger that's trying to catch him, and and uh, there's a mouse that's nibbling on the on the on the rope <laughs> above him, <laughs> and you know thousands of feet below him to fall, and uh, there's a st strawberry plant growing right there. There's a ripe strawberry on it, and. The, uh, it's getting closer and closer to having the rope totally nibbled through, but the, he grabs the strawberry and eats it. <laughs> that's it. And, and the moral of the story is enjoy the strawberry. <laughs> I, I, always, I always carry a piece of chocolate with me whenever I fly in a plane. <laughs> oh, you have... <laughs> You have way more um, self-control than I do. I would just eat that piece of chocolate. <laughs> Missy, you got your hand up. Yeah, there's something, a uh, line from a poem, I believe the author is Aaron Hansen, if I'm reading my note right. But uh, the verse goes, There's freedom waiting for you on the breezes of the sky. And you ask, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. isn't that nice folks um, if you're feeling scared yeah life is scary but the trick is to taste the strawberry the trick is to remember that we're not going to crash that we're going to catch ourselves it's scary it's all scary okay Brian. John. In The Guardian this morning, uh, there is a story, 30 dying people explain what really matters. Mm. My life will be short, so on the days I can, I really live. And they have just short snippets from 30 people around the world and their response to their 
diagnosis of terminal yeah life amen and it's uh there's some really very interesting yeah i i bet there's a there's a latin phrase memento mori remember you will die mm. this might be a time to hold up one of your cards <laughs> if you got one of those cards i appreciate you holding it up i don't like that thank you all for sharing okay fair yeah. enough we don't like it what question what are you going to do about it enjoy the ride say it again rita enjoy the ride enjoy the ride yeah i i i have the honor of getting to officiate at funerals and there's something about doing a funeral where every meal I have after I'm at a cemetery. Oh, bless, bless you. Every meal I have after I'm at a cemetery is a tasty meal. Maybe we'll all have a picnic in a cemetery one day. I've done that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay. Um, I want to no mo move us along. I have notes. How did that go? The I don't like that card. I found, so we made these last week. If you're new here, I asked people to make a little card that said, I don't like that. And to be able to reach into your pocket to have the I don't like that card. I had an experience of the I don't like it cards that I didn't realize until about 20 minutes or an hour later that I should have pulled out my card. <laughs> Somebody would gave me a little bit of a talking down and I and I I took it and I was like, yeah, oh, that's really interesting that and then about 20 minutes later, I thought, dang it, that I didn't like that. I wish I had said at the time, I don't, you know what, I don't really like this. But I didn't think of it. So I, I, my, my experience with the I don't like it card was a little bit delayed. Mm. I don't know if you had, a, do you have something you, you did an I don't like it card? Did you play your card at the right time? Did it? serve you did it was it of any help it's never too late it's never too late that's fair that's fair and you know what emily you're absolutely right when i realized that i could have taken the card out i didn't shoot on myself i had a little bit of compassion for myself of mm -hmm. wow that was a hard moment i didn't like that you're right it's never too late anyone else have a oh and if you want to try it all here's the instructions all you need is a card and a pen and you write, I don't like that on the card. And then you put that in your pocket. And then as you go throughout the world, um, you, you take that card out when you need. Boy, I was really hoping for somebody to raise a hand or to do something. Or uh, Go ahead, Bob. My mechanical brain is driving me crazy. Because uh, if you don't have ground, you can't fall. Yeah, you're you're right, and there's that they they do that in Star Wars all the time, and in all these sci-fi movies where there's gravity out in space and things fall, and it doesn't make any sense. You're absolutely right. Um, thank you, thank you, Bob. Joe, go ahead, and then Alex. I've used the I don't like that so many times. I've lost count, and it has saved me so much time because I don't have to do my 15 paragraphs of um, no thank you because da, 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 explanation. Blah, 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 blah. I just said, I don't like that. Have you just said, have you just said that aloud to people? And the earth didn't open up and swallow you? No, no lightning, no earth, nothing. 
you just said you can you can you demonstrate can you give us a how, how did you, you demonstrate you demonstrate no, let's, see. let's see um oh my mother <laughs> my mother is uh well she's she's interesting okay um she she rewarded ken for a job i did that is typical and I said, I don't like that. And you said this to her? Not yet. I'm working on it. No, 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 no. There was no, there was no judgment. I was, I was seriously, Joe. The, the, the judgment there that you took on yourself. That I, 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 I was just asking a question. But no, you, I, you I, were I, able I just, to say to yourself, I don't like that. And I that. I said it out loud in my own kitchen when I saw the pie. I don't like that. And that helped you, that helped to give you a little bit of solace. It was, it was, it was borderline complete solution. Well, that's fantastic. Let's hear from some, uh, somebody else on the, I'm going to start manufacturing these cards. Maybe yes, th that's. Absolutely. They are priceless. Alex, what'd you get? Um, actually, I just have an administrative note here. Yeah. Um, several people have mentioned this in the chat, so I thought I'd draw your attention to it. Today is, uh. International Holocaust Remembrance Day. It is. I thank you for bringing that up. We will we will get to that when we get to our prayers time. Thank you so much for for adding that in, and and thank you because um, I know that I missed on January sixth when it was a uh, January sixth and it didn't hit me that that was a day to acknowledge. So thank you for bringing that back to my attention. Go ahead, uh, Ray. Ray, you're on mute, bud. It's been my experience that most of the people who were rude or cruel or whatever, they didn't care if I liked it or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they were going to say it, they were going to do it, you know. But it's not for them, it's for you. Right. Yes, Ray? It's not for them, it's for you that you say, I don't like that? Okay. Yeah. That was a, as long as I could say it to myself. That's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Emily. <laughs> Emily, you said something. I don't know if you were just doing. No, that's right. No, I'm just, I'm just guessing. Absolutely, that's right. That's right. That it's just we're doing this for ourselves. Just it's for and, you. You're right. Doing it for yourself. And that was where, for mine, 20 minutes later, it was still good and compassionate for me to just be able to say, I didn't like that. Mm hmm and tend to myself afterwards. Go ahead, Betsy. Yeah. Sometimes in a crowd, if you say, I don't like that about something, then others who also don't like that will, mm. will you will find each other. Yeah. And, uh, right. And as we know, the best way to start a, any type of group is with a resentment in a coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like when you don't swallow, you know, when you don't swallow a compliment. Right. Uh, it's not never too late to to think back about it and think I'm gonna swallow that. Uh, for those of you who haven't been with us for the last 198 uh, episodes of this service, uh, we we've taken up the tradition of when somebody gives us a compliment to notice it. And to mark it with a swallow of, of taking of just this simple act of taking a moment so that we acknowledge what's going on. Um, I want us to do a moment of gratitude, a moment of awe, a moment of uh, wonder. We take a minute of time to do. Um, did something strike you in the last week where you went, oh my goodness, isn't that amazing? Yeah, the sunset. The sunset. <laughs> Beautiful. The sunset. It was pink. It wasn't sunset. It was pink sky. Beautiful. It was beautiful. I got caught out in the rain last night and this morning walking the dogs, and I just had that, that moment of, Oh my God, rain. What? <laughs> like, this is insane that I'm existing and there's this water coming out of nowhere. Like, it, it was 
it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. What else you got? Take a minute. The twins uh, I, I put in the prayer list two weeks ago <laughs> were born. Oh, they are healthy and they're very small, but I've held them in my arms. That's a that wonderful, amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. I had one uh, at work that was so good. I had to like call my mom about it because we were, I work at a museum and we were doing conservation on an object. And as we take, took it from the spot where it had been sitting in this kind of dark corner and walked past the window we all realized that it was actually the item that we all thought was black glass was actually green glass because suddenly the whole room mm. lit up like the Emerald City, and multiple oh. people genuinely gasped because it was like it was like magic. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Mm. Other moments of all. Have, yeah, go ahead, Lenny. I, I was grateful that I went to uh, my tap class and I took like a semi private because there were a lot of steps that I didn't know and I realized I didn't know the steps because I hadn't seen them because I, I didn't take tap during December and I was so grateful that in 77 I can enjoy dancing and I can actually learn and I can actually have a good time and love to dance and love the music so I was grateful you know that my foot wasn't uh, that nothing was wrong with me. That That's I was wonderful. learning, having a good time, and dancing. Yeah. Folks, if you want to do a, a a a version of this at home, set an alarm and do a minute of just gratitude. It's amazing how how powerful just remembering. It helps in the free fall to remember to, to remember that we have all of these wonderful things as, as well. It's, life is really scary. There's that, where's my pin? Okay. Here it comes. It's I know, I'm working on it. There it is. Yeah. Life is a shipwreck. We mustn't forget to sing in the lifeboats. <laughs> <laughs> Be I am an official member of Voltaire's Lifeboat Voluntary Band. <laughs> life, life is really, this is life. Life is really scary. But we also have to remember to sing in the lifeboats. Okay, we're going to take a, it, it is january the end of january it is winter and we do something once a quarter we don't have a lot of a lot of traditions here but one of them is to once a quarter re review the five to six qualities of a spiritual religious life there are five to six qualities there used to only be five qualities to a spirit spiritual religious life and then as i've done them um an extra one kind of sort of happened and i thought about this i thought isn't it wonderful that it's not a, that that this little bit of doctrine we have here the qualities of a spiritual religious life I can't figure out how many there actually are I think it spiritual religious I think it's fantastic that it's an unknown quantity because that goes with my first and my favorite of the qualities of a spiritual religious life someone remind me what this one means a spiritual more, religious life is filled with what more than what more questioning yeah. Yeah. yeah the spiritual religious life has more questions than answers the spiritual religious life also has hierarchy of values a hierarchy of values if you have a spiritual religious life you have values it's not to say that all things are the same it's to say that love is important and more important than hate and we have values and another so we're up to two give me i'm out we got up to six another quality of a spiritual religious life transformative a spiritual religious life has got to be transformative. It's not about transforming the world. It's about transforming ourselves, as Thomas Merton never said, but is attributed the quote, the 
quote is attributed to him. If the you of 10 years ago doesn't think the you of today is a heretic, you've not been growing spiritually. A spiritual religious life is about transformation. It's about change. It's about being, allowing ourselves to be changed. Give me another one. We're up to three, which is already, that's an A. We get passing grade, 50%. It's about you, but it's not about you. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you, Stephen. A spiritual religious life has, this is two qualities in one, is that a spiritual religious life cannot be about the self, and at the same time, it's not not about the self. And that was on the, on the intro to the service. I sent out this this cartoon to remind mm -hmm. you that there was a service today and it says there are people we try to please people we actually can please people we should focus on pleasing which includes ourselves that a spiritual religious life is it's about other people and it's also about ourselves and then the bonus one that's in this is there's this idea in the spiritual religious life of paradoxicality that something and its opposite can both be true. It's about, it's not about you, and it is about you. That's a extra quality of a spiritual religious life. I believe you, uh, I'm missing something. Go ahead. Makes you aware of who you really are. Makes you aware of who you really are when you see this. Absolutely. Thank you, Jack. I'm missing one. Yeah. Ah, yes. Yeah. Oh. What's this one? Spiritual religious life is about knowing that everything is connected. Is knowing that things are not separate, that we are connected, that we are not finite, that we are part of something infinite. I'm going to give a quick little shout out about an infinite idea. My, I'm not on the screen. There, I'm on the screen. All right. There's a circle. That's a perfect circle I just drew. Go with it. Here's a pencil that goes across. It's about the size of the diameter of the circle. If this pencil were made, and don't, I know some of you already know the answer to this. If this pencil were made out of some flexible material and I could bend the pencil to fit along the outside edge here, how many of these pencils would it take to go around the circle? And the answer to that is it would take, it would take pi circles. It would take exactly 3.14 who knows the rest of it? One, five, one, five nine, seven. Keep going. Show us. Oh, I'm just making this shit up. I just made that up. <laughs> totally made that up, Jordan. Because I was like, who's gonna fact check me? Nobody nobody <laughs> But the, um, if, if you ever want to, to, to learn pi, can I have a large container of coffee? If you count the number of letters in each of these words, it's can I have a large container of coffee? You can get pi all the way to that many digits. <laughs> but that wasn't the point. The point, the point was that if you, and you can type this into your Google browser, you can type in your phone number and your phone number in the actual number pi, the number of times it would take this pencil to go around this circle it takes 3.14 pencils to go it takes 3.14 diameters to go around a circle that this number is actually infinite and every number you can think of exists within this number that's what we're getting to with this idea of infinity 
your birthday, your social security number. I w I'm not suggesting you type your social security number into, but if you look and you put your phone number in, put your birth date in, put any number you want in and say, can Pi, does Pi contain my birthday? And you'll find out that all the way down a million <clears throat> decimals in, your birthday's in Pi. Every single number is in Pi. It's crazy. Did you know that? Huh? I, just want, I just want to call on Al Brown and tell him he gets a sticker for what he put in the chat. Okay, Al, what'd you get? <laughs> I, I just looked up Pi to 39 digits and put it in the chat. Yeah. Just Love it. <laughs> back checking. And can you also, Al, while you're there, um, can you check to see that your birthday exists in Pi? <laughs> it doesn't exist in the first 39 digits, so I'm sure it's in there somewhere. It does exist. It exists in Pi. This is this idea of the infinite, is that everything is in it. It's pretty cool. So how many qualities of a spiritual religious life did we get? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's exactly how many we were going for. Uh-oh. Do you remember them? Take a moment. Paradoxicality. Paradoxicality, that's one. More questions than answers. More questions than answers. Values. Values. It's all not about you, but it's about you. Not about you, but it's about you. Transformative. Transformative. And then the pie one. Connected. There's my six finger, six finger. Good, 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 good. I think it's important as what we do in this service is highly unorthodox, that we understand that what we are talking about is truly, this is what we talk about on a weekly basis, is we talk about these qualities of a spiritual religious life and how to go about having more of the qualities of the things that we want in our lives and fewer of the things that we don't. So thank you. And uh, bonus points to Maria, who came up with the idea that once a quarter, once per season, we should refresh our memories on these things. So thank you, Maria, for that. Um, that mm -hmm. seems like a good time to do some announcements. Um, thank you to the crew who helped me out on Tuesday uh, this week. Uh, you helped me to realize how unimportant I am. So thank you guys <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for that. Uh, Wednesday group, thank you for helping me in planning out this service and, and doing all of the backstage work that, that makes this go. Um, announcement, as always, you know this one, it's really important. It's okay not to feel okay. okay. If you're having a hard time, that's all right. We have hard times. It's okay to not be okay. It's, that's fine. That's part of life. Go ahead, Joe. Um, the announcement is that next Saturday, February was, 3rd, I got is it. the 200th episode of Saturday Service. Next week is 200 episodes, so please make sure to come. And I thought about it, and I had originally said that I wanted people to wear uh, party hats. And then the more I thought about it, the more I thought, I don't really want people to wear party hats. So uh, I have... I have Joe, I what have. What do we do with all these party hats? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not hat. I think, <laughs> I think, as is quite evident, I do not have any control over you. <clears throat> <laughs> and if you would like to wear a hat, you should feel as free to wear anything that you like to wear as you, you normally do. Um, I will be wearing my regular hat. Um, I have asked. <laughs> For people to be able to answer the question, what is one thing that you learned at the Saturday service? What's something that you have learned? Either a didactic, I learned the six qualities of spiritual religious life, or something uh, a little more meta of, I learned that it's okay to share in public. I learned that it's okay 
to have friends I've never met so, or and anything um, anything that you've learned I, I'd love to spend our 200th service hearing back from you of things that you've learned um, other announcement um, we were we had the idea of sending the 77% weekly to people who are in prison who don't have internet and James just sent me some photos there's a photo of James and here he is at something called the Pledge of Peace um, so and I had raised a, a, a little bit of funds uh, some funds from people and I appreciate that what wound up happening was that James wanted to make his own newsletter so he printed out a newsletter and it's in the world's smallest typeface and nearly impossible to read but they only were allowed to do so many pages so James is making his own newsletter and we're helping to subsidize that so if you are I, I guess I can scan this in and if you would really like I can send you a PDF of because we have the electronic capabilities on this end of the prisons um, I can send you that if you would like let me know um, other announcements hey I have a question do you have any announcements you whoever you are anything you need us to know I had made a note to myself here um, we all had the homework of being more tolerant kind or forgiving of being a kind person and still saying no is there something that you wanted to report in to the group of here was a moment where I really did some self-care is there something that you wanted to tell tell the group that you you need some you help on all right Harold and Connie you were broadcast for some of what you just said we didn't understand what it was if you'd like to share that Please do. I told Carol that we, I, I told him, I said, do you understand that we have not communicated with anybody but our daughter? We're brand new in the community and we're still trying to unpack our house. So we have not had any outside. Well, we're glad to be your community for now, Connie. Thank you. And we, we appreciate it. Yeah. It, it's amazing. It's really like who would have thought 20 years ago that we could have such a a real vibrant sense of community mm -hmm. this way just such a lovely thing mm -hmm. um we're gonna try an exercise that i've never done and last week the one we did with the dits dashes and dots and doing that that seemed to have gone well for a first time experiment so here's today's first time experiment this is <laughs> courtesy of my buddy larry he said this phrase don't need me now I was talking to Larry about Emmett wanted me to help him study for math and he kept putting off what time I was ready at 2 I was ready at 4 I was ready after dinner it wasn't until about 930 at night that Emmett was ready for me to help him with math hmm. not my favorite time of day I get tired I want to get ready to go to bed and I want I wanted to say to Emmett don't need me now like it's okay to need me but do it when it's convenient to me and Larry talked about this using this as a sermon prompt of God asking us to do something and us saying to God God that's fine but I don't want to do it on your timetable I want to do it on mine and I thought of this what if this was the title of a poem and I want to ask everyone we're going to take five minutes I want you to write the first four lines of a poem that you need not ever share with anyone first four lines of a poem and the poem is entitled don't need me now I'm gonna put up a timer I'm gonna try to put up a timer so take a minute I'm gonna do the same I'm going to set, do this timer a few times, so it's going to be five minutes. Write out a poem. Write out a poem that you need not ever share with anyone. And the title of the poem is Don't Need Me Now. And you are writing the first four lines of it. It does not need to have this line exactly as is. 
Again, only the first four lines. You could finish the whole thing in four lines, but write a poem. Are we supposed to be bread? Are we supposed to be bread? You lost me on that one there. Need, K-N-E-A-D. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Sometimes my, my, my Rob filter does not follow through. <laughs> And let's be on our last minute of our poems entitled Don't Need Me Now. All right. Who remembers the phrase, pencils down? <laughs> it's a ter terrible phrase. I thought of something while, uh, and I wanted to just quickly share it before we get to the poems, which is this, this line, that there is no ground. I'm trying, a, uh, I'm trying this poem right now with you. I've never done this before. But what I know from the past and from doing this service is that y'all will forgive me if this doesn't go well. well there's nothing sure. that can go wrong. So that, that being said, um, let's see what we got. Brave volunteer, hopefully someone who hasn't spoken today before. Ron, I think I saw your hand go. Eileen? Go ahead, Eileen, and then Ron, if that was an actual yes. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah okay, okay. <laughs> what um, do you got, Eileen? Don't, don't need me now. I don't know how to tell you this, but I will attempt it here. When you need my help, I am more than happy to oblige after a good night's sleep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Eileen. Go ahead, Avon. You're muted. Oh, you're muted again. There we go. Hold on. We're almost there. Got it? You're on. Okay. 
I got, uh, don't need me when you haven't wanted me. Don't need me when you haven't cherished me. Don't need me when you haven't celebrated me. Please don't need me now. Beautiful. Ooh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ron, I, I knew I was going to call on you. Go ahead, Ron. Uh, I know you want my attention to help with memory retention, but that just makes me go, ow, so please don't need me now. <laughs> <laughs> well well done ron with a beautiful r rhyme scheme ruth what's going on my friend what do you got don't need me now the bathtub is overflowing the pot on the stove is boiling over and so am i oh <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you missy you muted. You muted. That was flawless, Missy. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Please don't misunderstand me. It doesn't mean I don't care. If I add one more thing on my to do list, I will pull out my hair. Please don't mm -hmm. need me now. Thank you, Missy. And thank you. Aiden, that was beautiful. Thank you. Go ahead. Ann Swanson. This is the first of a long poem. Um, oh my God, breaking news. Look, read, another missile strike. War, insult, forest fire, flood. Chloe taps my face gently with her paw. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you for that. That's beautiful. What talent. Go ahead, Carol. Don't need me now. I still want to deal with life. Don't need me now. I will be coming, but not just yet. Beautiful. Wow. Jordan, thank you, Carol. Here's what I got. Uh, don't need me now. Just feed me now. I need me now. And how. <laughs> wow. Well done. Well done. Chad and Lisa. Okay. Okay. This will be the start of it, like you said, the first four lines. I love you dearly and will help you clearly, but understand I am really tired and can barely stand. Beautiful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Linny, go ahead. Okay, this was inspired by Emmett. By, your, uh, by the uh, map. Don't now. Oh, it's my my time is over. I can help you rest and learn and rest and help. Oh, thank you, Lenny. Go ahead, Betsy. You got your hand up. Okay. I really want to make music with you. I really do. But right now, even to lift my violin does violence to my back and agony to my nerve <laughs> I, I think don't need me now can go along with this. I don't want to. I don't like that. Just this idea of being able to say no. Mm -hmm. So hard for good people to say no. So yeah. hard for us to say no. Don't need me now. I need to take care of myself right now. Yeah. I'm looking at my notes and I realized there was a story that I wanted to share at the very start. Go ahead, Maria. Uh, we haven't done the prayer. Like oh, my that. goodness. Let's take a minute. Thank you. Forget what I was going to do. Let's take a minute. It is Holocaust Remembrance Day. In addition to all the names that we have, there are the millions, that's with an M, millions of people who have died in in horrible, horrible wars and in things that they were not uh, responsible for, but they were killed nonetheless. So we add all of those names in with the names of the people Maria has listed for us. Thank you, Maria. These are the people to whom we are sending light and love. Anne, Rob B, Sheridan H, Ken Gerber, Greg, Ron B, 
Larry, Lee and Larry, Sarah, Chris Cornell, Antonio in Spirit and his wife Raina, Patrick McCahill, Ron Spagna, Antonio Sa Sanchez, Helen Kranick in Spirit, Bill Conjura, Shirley Waynes, Peggy, Sherry G, Eugene R, Jim Dobbs, Wendy and Paul, Yvonne S in Spirit, Jolene Perkins, Yvonne and Fran, Lynn D, K in Spirit, Gloria, Eloise, Athena and Adam, Mary, Lainey P, All Traveler, and Gary and Heather. If there is another person in our community to whom we can offer light and love, please put their name in the chat and I will add them to the list in the clubhouse. And for the people who aren't named, but who are in our thoughts, we send them light and love as well. Thank you, Maria. Let's take a minute of time. Thank you all. Um, so I'm going to tell you a quick little story, and it's a, a favorite of mine. People have asked me recently, how are you? And I've said, I'm content with the problems that I have. Mm -hmm. And the story that goes along with it is there's a story of two rabbis, and one asks the other for a blessing. And the second rabbi says, may you have many problems. And the first one says, what kind of blessing is that? And the second re responds, when you have many problems, it's because the washing machine stopped working. It's because you broke a dish. It's because your dog went pee in the house. When you have many problems, you're doing okay. It's when you have one problem, it's that your son is in the hospital. It's when you have one problem that you have many pro then you truly have a problem. So the blessing is that I hope you have many problems. I'm gonna end us <clears throat> on that note. And I thought, Joe, I have a compromise position for you. Fun hats at the beginning of the service. And then should we want to take them off? I was worried that they might be a little distracting for if we want, we can take them off then. Okay, I'm going to change my little card to say... That's a lovely compromise, and I thank you for it. You're welcome. So I just said, I, I like that. <laughs> um, let's do that thing where we wave goodbye to all the people who are on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you guys for all watching and participating.